What a beautiful day, and we've got drones. Look at this, live in the studio. The Detroit Public School System is here, represented uh, with a flying, it's not unidentified, it's actually an identified flying object. So if you think Detroit Public School System, you may think typical, well think again. They've got flying classrooms, programs that focus on lots of science, aviation, biomed, engineering, uh, geothermal energy. Sounds like an Ivy League university. So here to tell us more, we'll start over here. Captain Chris Meyer, who's a teacher at Davis Aerospace Technical School. Jared Jenkins is here, manning the uh, controls on our, on our little uh, drone for the studio. Very cool stuff. We've also got, who else? Uh, let me get to your name here real quick. Tell me your name again. Albert Hauser. Oh yeah, Mr. Hauser's here. Then Susan Mirandi is with me and Tamaya Williams. Good to have you all here. So tell me about this idea of flying classrooms. What is a flying classroom? Well, the flying classroom is a K through eight um, curriculum that is all based about STEM, which is um, science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. And um, what we, we do is we travel with all of uh, Captain Irving's expeditions throughout the world and he uh, has video clips and articles. So it's uh, literacy rich and STEM based program. Very cool stuff. So you're inspiring uh, young people as well as they're learning something pretty cool. So Captain Meyer, you're a pilot. That's correct. You're a teacher now. Yep. All right, so how does this combination of science, uh, aviation, how does this come together to inspire right. Aviation just has every, every aspect of science, whether it's biology, yeah. physics, <laughs> chemistry, it, it wraps them all together. So we try to, we're, we're, we're bringing aviation into the classrooms because uh, we can hit all those hot topics of uh, science and it's wonderful. And what's it like for you? You're in, can you talk and chew gum and control a drone? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, oh, your mic. Go ahead. Uh, it's a wonderful experience flying a drone. I have a future. It gives you many career opportunities in the future because the drone industry is really booming right now. And uh, for me, I want to be a fighter pilot, but if that doesn't work out. I always have a drone career to fall back on. And who was it that just got their solo? Who just that went? was me, sir. That was you. Okay, so you, you can now fly by yourself. Yes, sir. How much did you sweat? Uh, a lot, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about this. How does this whole program inspire you? Um, this program inspires me because it's just the teamwork and all everything that comes into the play with the drone yeah. um, is just fantastic. And so from there, it's a lot of career options, um, a lot of money as well. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. And, you know, Davis Aerospace, the technical school there, has been around for quite a while. But there's more to this than just flying. And you've got an experiment here for us. What are you working on? The DNA of something? Yeah, the DNA of a, um, a strawberry. So we mix the extraction solution with the strawberry mix. And then we add alcohol so it separates the DNA with the, stra with the strawberry. And then it turns into this. Very interesting. So what would you learn from that? Would that be something for the future to know how to prevent a disease in a strawberry? Yeah, it can prevent, it can like DNA, uh, can yeah. prevent diseases. Can you hold it up for our camera right here? This guy holding the camera. Tilt it toward him so we can see. It's kind of mushy stuff. Tilt it this way so we can see. That's the DNA of the strawberry. That is. Pretty wild. And tell us, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. So what, what are we learning from it? What are you getting from it? Well, from DNA, you can like figure out crime scenes, how to crack diseases from people, for people. And DNA is in our food. We eat to make people, like, to help the body function right. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Are you going to try to bring it in? We've yeah, got a helipad on the roof. <laughs> that may be too much to get up there. But we're going to see, because when you did this at the top of the show, you brought it right in. Come on. And you know the future of drones, we hear a lot of bad stuff about drones, but the future there for news coverage, for inspiration, there's a lot going on. Come on, coming in, bringing it in. There we go. Very nice job. All right, good to see you all. Captain, good to have you here, guys. Congratulations on your solo you. ticket. Good to see you. Keep it going. Nice Thank to have you, you here. Good to see you. Good to see you. Much success in everything. You know, there's a lot more to discover at Detroit Public Schools. In addition to the technology that we focused here this morning, there are schools that are focused on arts, schools that have college partners, and many other programs as well. For more info on all they have to offer, check it out. Go to their website, DetroitK12.org. Tati?